today we are going to do first demand function now what is the relationship of a demand and price inverse relationship now what we are going to do over here is we are going to study various functions demand function cost function revenue function profit function and we'll see how these concepts of derivative differentiation are used in practical life now a demand function is typically denoted by demand function x is equal to function of p now p is what price p is the price now i'll take an example of this function say for example demand function p is equal to 150 minus 4 x now this p is the demand function price for what for x units or we can say demand of x units now this demand function normally kya hota hai ki price find karna hai to some amount into a variable 4 into x now demand function is p is equal to 150 minus 4 x ye dhyan mein rakhna we go to the second one this is connected hai revenue function revenue kya hai hamara kitna rupees ka humne total sales kiya ya kitna total earning hua is known as our revenue now revenue function denoted by capital r is equal to demand function into x units jitna bhi total demand hai ya price hai into x units understood this so you have to remember this revenue function is equal to p into x now if i convert this example equation into revenue function it will be what 150 minus 4x is the demand function into how many number of units x units so what we get is the revenue function understood this now ye total revenue function hai if i want to find out marginal revenue dhyan dena please what is marginal marginal means increase with every unit increase or decrease with every unit decrease is known as marginal if i want to find out marginal revenue i will take derivative of revenue function with respect to x to kahin pe bhi cost function profit function revenue function uska marginal find karna hai to we have to find derivative of the function for this example what will be the marginal revenue it will be equal to first we solve this 150x minus 4x square to kya ho jayega iska first derivative it will be 150 minus 8x understood this all of you okay cost function cost function denoted by capital c now again some equation will be given if i want to find out marginal cost derivative of cost with respect to units units produced units produced that's the cost understood this three okay textbook nikalo page number 187 pe aa jao important ye hai formula 
पी टू एक्स दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट बाकी तो सिंपल ही है जो इक्वेशन आया उसका फर्स्ट ऑर्डर डेरिवेटिव ओके नाउ मार्क कर लो इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट फर्स्ट ऑर्डर डेरिवेटिव ऑफ अ फंक्शन कैन आल्सो बी यूज्ड टू ऑब्टेन मार्जिनल इनकम एंड मार्जिनल कॉस्ट तो जहां पे भी मार्जिनल आता है वी हैव टू यूज फर्स्ट ऑर्डर डेरिवेटिव ओके इतना याद रखना नाउ If we denote price of a commodity by P and its demand by X, price and demand X, so we get the relation X is equal to function of P. Understood this? Now, the function of P is what? It is this equation. Okay. Now. If the income or revenue obtained by selling X unit of a commodity is denoted by capital R, R is what? Revenue. Then R is equal to P into X or X into P. Understood this? Now, thus revenue R is function of demand X. Now, the change in revenue due to change in demand. ये जो revenue है. will change as there is change in the demand okay so what we call that is called marginal revenue now marginal revenue find karna to bahut simple hai can be obtained by taking derivative of revenue function with respect to x thus the demand is x when marginal revenue derivative of r with respect to x understood this now okay then we progress ahead if we denote cost of producing x unit by c cost function c ki x number of units produce karne ka jo formula hai jo function hai wo hai c okay. then c can also be represented as a function of x the change in cost due to small change in production is called marginal cost marginal cost can be obtained by taking derivative of cost function with respect to x thus when production is x then marginal cost is equal to derivative of cost with respect to x understood this okay let me give you extra example isko main highlight kar deta hu this for your understanding See, in exam, in the question, demand function दिया ही होगा तो तुम्हें बनाना नहीं है ये फंक्शन आया कहां से वी हैव टू मेक इट वेरी सिंपल डिमांड फंक्शन विल बी गिवन यू विल बी आस रेवेन्यू फंक्शन और मार्जिनल रेवेन्यू सो यू डायरेक्टली यूज दिस फॉर्मूला फाइंड दिस आउट मार्जिनल रेवेन्यू रेवेन्यू यू फाइंड दिस आउट अंडरस्टूड दिस एंड देन यू इफ एक्स इज गिवन यू फाइंड वॉट इज द पी That's it. Very simple. Or again, here there is no numbers. Here there is a real situation, so you will be in a better position to understand. In real life, how do we use this to do all these things in factory? How do we use this to do all these things in factory? How do we use this to do all these things in factory? How do we use this to do all these things in factory? How do we use this to do all these things in factory? How do we use this to do all these things in factory? How do we use this to do all these things in factory? How do we use this to do all these things in factory? I would like to add one more to this. Fourth, profit function. Profit function is denoted by P. Now P is equal to R minus C. Do you have any doubt in this? Profit is equal to revenue minus cost profit is equal to revenue minus cost so profit function is revenue function minus cost function if i want to find out marginal profit marginal profit and with every increase in unit what is the increase in profit marginal profit is equal to derivative of p with respect to x a 
Achha, once again, the demand function will be given in the exam. So, in the question, so you did not worry about demand function, but you should know what is revenue function. Revenue function is demand function into x, p into x or x into p. You remember this marginal. Anything marginal is derivative of that function. Understood this first order, first order derivative of that function. Got it? Okay. Maximize, minimize karne ke liye kya karna padta hai? We have to go for second order function and we have to see more than zero, less than zero, then we can conclude. Got it? Okay. Now, illustration number 27. Illustration 27, page number 187. Now, if the demand function of pizza is P is equal to 150 minus 4x, then find the marginal revenue when demand is of 3 pizza and interpret it. Now, underline color marginal revenue. Marginal word I have to kya karta hai. Okay, now, first, we write the demand function demand function which is given is equal to P is equal to 150 minus 4x then revenue function R is equal to P into x which is equal to 150 minus 4x into x is equal to 150x minus 4x square Find marginal revenue. Marginal revenue is equal to derivative of revenue with respect to x. With respect to x is equal to 150x will be 150 minus 8x. marginal revenue function. Now, we have to find marginal revenue when demand is of 3 pesa. So, when demand is 3 pesa, that is x is equal to 3, marginal revenue D of R with respect to X is equal to 150 minus 8 into 3 which is 126 rupees 126 3 8 are 24 150 minus 24 126 now interpretation lithium is called interpretation I will give a different interpretation for you to understand this concept. If demand increases from 3 to 4 units because it is marginal. Yani 3 units se badke agar 4th unit ho gaya. All of you understood this? Yes. Marginal pada hai na tumne? Yes. Ki agar 3 se badke Fourth ho gaya revenue will increase by rupees one twenty six approximately. This textbook mein interpretation hai. Isme kuch samajh mein nahi padega. This के लिए उसमें add कर दो एक word मेरी तरफ से revenue increases for selling the fourth pizza is approximately 120 six पर इसका मतलब क्या कि if demand increases from three to four if demand increases from three to four then revenue will increase by rupees 126 that's why we call it marginal understood this
Okay, illustration number 28, page number 188. If demand function of a commodity is 50 minus P upon 2, find the marginal revenue when price, what is price? Price P is 30. Okay, now, Dhyando, please, demand function. Over here is expressed as x is equal to 50 minus p by 2. Now we have to express it as p. So we solve this. 2x is equal to 50 minus p. Therefore p is equal to 50 minus 2x. Again demand function of yes. Okay. Now revenue function. R. R is equal to P into X which is equal to 50 minus 2X into X which is equal to 50X minus 2X square. Marginal revenue. We have to find marginal revenue also. Derivative of R with respect to X is equal to 50 minus 4x Now dhyan do When Price P is equal to 30 X is equal to 50 minus P by 2 Therefore X is equal to 50 minus 30 by 2 So x is equal to 50 minus 30 is equal to 20 by 2 which is equal to 10. We got x is equal to 10. Now we use x is equal to 10 in marginal revenue function. So marginal revenue is equal to 50 minus 4 into 10 which is equal to 10 50 minus 40 so we interpret it what's the interpretation of this now when unit 10 increases to 11 the increase in price is approximately 10 understood this Lekho, interpretation revenue increase is revenue increase for selling 11th unit is rupees 10 approx. Approximately. You understood this you know, interpretation? Okay, here is short way, diya hai, but this means that if it is 10 to 11, then what will increase kya aajega? Revenue will increase by rupees 10. Understood this? Okay. Illustration number 29, page 188. Illustration 29, page 188. The cost function of commodity is C is equal to 5x square plus 6x plus 2000 where x is the number of units produced. Find marginal cost when production is 50 units. First, let's write the cost function. Cost function C is equal to 5x square plus 6x plus 2000 marginal cost derivative of c with respect to x is equal to 10x plus 6 
Now, four units produced 50, that is x is equal to 50, marginal cost is equal to 10 into 50 plus 6, which is equal to 500 plus 6, 506. Understood this? It means what? When units interpretation when units produced increases from 50 to 51 cost increases by approximate rupees 506 Liko. elasticity of demand first we write the definition is good for understanding to me to pata hi hoga Economics में पढ़ाई है। क्या relation है demand और price का? Inverse. Price will increase, demand will decrease, and if price will decrease, demand will increase. Okay, ये relationship है between price and demand. Now definition लिखते हैं। You also write. You also write with me definition. The ratio of, this will help you to understand the formula, the ratio of percentage change in demand of a commodity due to percentage change in price is called elasticity of demand which is equal to percentage change in demand upon percentage change in price but very important over here you have to put negative sign why this negative negative because the relationship is is inverse because a positive hoga to dusra obviously negative hone wala hai understood this okay. if we take demand as x and price as P and demand function X is equal to function of P elasticity of demand is equal to minus p upon x into derivative of x with respect to p so derivative of demand with respect to price x is demand of demand in units and p is price of units understood this very important formula for sums 
question may everything will be given you just have to remember these formulas now illustration 30 page number 189 the demand function of commodity is x is equal to 50 minus 4p find elasticity of demand when price is p is equal to 5 and interpret it now let's first write down demand function which is given demand function x is equal to 50 minus 4p Elasticity of demand is minus P by X into derivative of X with respect to price P demand with respect to price. So we find derivative of X with respect to P is equal to 50 will become 0. 4 P will become 4 which is equal to minus 4. Okay. Now. What we have to find? We have to find elasticity of demand when price is P is equal to 5. So first let's find out elasticity of demand. Elasticity of demand is equal to minus P by X into derivative of X with respect to price P. which is equal to what is minus p minus p as it is we keep we don't know okay wo baad mein diya usko use karenge p is equal to 5 diya na okay baad mein first we make the equation for this minus p by x x is equal to 50 minus 4p in the bracket into minus 4 which is equal to minus minus plus so 4p upon 50 minus 4p got it now elasticity of demand when price p is equal to 5 is is equal to 4 into 5 upon 50 minus 4 into 5 20 by 30 which is equal to 0 0.67 elasticity of demand is 0 0.67 means when price increases by 1% demand will decrease by 0.67% when your price of the product is rupees 5 when price is 5 when price increases by 1% your demand will decrease by 0.67% okay write down interpretation when price changes by 1% demand changes by 0.67% inversely it can be both the ways it can be increase decrease in, decrease increase or decrease increase increase decrease in both the ways when price is equal to 5 यानी जब product का price 5 रखा है तो जैसे तुम इस price को 1% से increase करोगे demand will decrease by 0.67 and जैसे इस price को decrease करोगे by 1% demand will increase by 0.67 understood this okay page number 190 Illustration 31. This is a tricky illustration. Hai. The demand function of a commodity is 
t is equal to 12 minus under root x. Find the elasticity of demand when the demand is 9 units. When the demand is 9 units and interpret it. What was the problem? Demand you have to take as 9 units. You can refer the solution the other when demand is 9 units. Okay, so we have to find elasticity of demand. Previous sum may price was given. In this sum, demand is given. Got it? Now, let's first write illustration 31, page 190. Let's write what is given. Demand function P is equal to 12 minus under root X. We find derivative of demand with respect to x which is equal to 0 minus under root x 1 by 2 root x which is equal to minus 1 by 2 root x. Therefore, derivative of x with respect to p will be equal to, can I say minus 2 root x? Can I say minus 2 root x? Reverse kar diya. We reversed it. Yaha pe, it is given because derivative of x with respect to p is equal to 1 upon derivative of p with respect to x. Kya ho jayega? This will come over here. So, ye upar a jayega. This is important step. Dhyan dena please. I'm marking it like this. Be careful about this in exam. Take it. So, we can easily solve this. Okay. Now, elasticity of demand. Is equal to minus P by X into derivative of X with respect to P. <coughs> demand with respect to price is equal to P is what? 12 minus under root X upon X into minus 2 root X which is equal to minus minus will become plus 2 root X into 12 minus root X upon X No need to open the brackets and all. Okay. Directly. When. Demand. Is equal to 9 units. That is. X is equal to 9. Elasticity. Of demand. Is equal to. 12 minus under root 9 upon 9 into 2 under root 9 which is equal to 12 minus 3 by 9 into 2 into 3 9 by 9 into 2 into 3 which is equal to 6. Interpret. When price changes by 1%, demand changes 
by 6% inversely at demand is equal to 9 units.